Hi there, I'm Sophia Stalbo with this month's new release feature. Picture the scene, Victorian London, in a poverty-stricken hovel called Crips Alley, live five young children. The eldest one, her name, is Clover Moon. She is the heroine of our story by Jacqueline Wilson, released this autumn which we present today. Clover isn't the average lucky girl of today's world. She doesn't have time for Christmas shopping or Snapchat, but rather lives a life of desperate poverty. Fighting for daily survival with a drunken father and a violent stepmother, Clover is left to fend for herself and her four younger step-siblings. When tragedy strikes and steals all that Clover holds dear, it's her powerful imagination that helps her come up with a plan to escape to a better life. Here is a little bit for you now, where Chloe's father is telling her off for spending time with weird people. There now, here you go again, with all the argy-bargy. I won't have it. I dare say, he can't help the way he was born, but he could certainly do something more manly than making dollies. He's been a bad influence on you all along, teaching you this reading luck and filling you with fancy ideas. You need to have some sense knocked into you, You've got to be taken down a peg or two. Maybe a caning's the answer. Moon is a typical Jacqueline Wilson heroine. She is bright, able to think for herself and stands up to the problems facing her. I was completely gripped by Clover's story as she relies on her talent and instinct to struggle against the odds through a vivid world of fascinating characters. And I felt for Clover all the more when I realised just how imaginative and artistic she was how the odds of any kind of happy life were set against her. Many kids around the world today face similar problems. The poverty of kids in slums, kids with violent parents, even here in Britain. And it's Wilson's amazing ability to show these problems and give you hope in a world where hundreds of years later, children still face the same tough life. If you, like me, liked the Hetty Feather series, you will definitely enjoy the tale of Clover Moon. Here are some reviews now from our favourite reading website, Love Reading for Kids. Georgie, age 11, says, I rate this book five stars, and whilst all of Jacqueline Wilson's books have been brilliant, and I am her biggest fan, this is the best Jacqueline Wilson book I've ever read. Maddie Harry's, age nine. This story is so sad and moving, but exciting at the same time. I couldn't put it down. Anya, age nine, wrote, This is definitely going to be another of Jacqueline Wilson's bestsellers. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy the book. To buy it now or find out more, just click on the link below. And we would, as ever, love to watch your Clover Moon book vlogs, which you can find out how to submit on the vlogs page. Bye for now!